Hey, this is Basil and Will from Grayson Hobby, and today we are going to show you how to do stick commands to change your profiles on your Grayson and Gold Tune Wizard, and how to calibrate your gyro and your accelerometer through the stick commands. Um, also, change your profiles. Again, all of this without ever having to connect to the computer. So, if you don't like to hook up the computer, this video is for you. When I get done flying, the quad comes back in one piece if we can do another video on it. Okay, that's not fair. I've only crashed all, okay, I've crashed almost all of it. So calibration, why do I need to calibrate? What's the problem with the- The wizards are set up, I mean, I calibrate the gyros, cal calibrate the accelerometers before they actually ship if you add it from us um, on the ready to fly models. Um, however, if you crash a lot or something's going on, you just feel like something's off, it's drifting, stuff like that. Uh, it's a simple procedure that can be done. Um, just to make sure the gyro is leveled out, the accelerometer is neutralized. So basically, it gives it a fresh start. Um, and sometimes they do develop drift, drift here and there. I've actually seen on some flight controllers, not necessarily on the Wizard, but on older F1s and all that. Now keep in mind, these do not have a GPS, so you're going to notice some drifting with the wind or just with just the way they're designed. They're yeah. designed. They're like a race, a race car. They don't want to be standing still. They always want to move forward. I mean, we're talking more drift to where it seems like you're giving almost input command without it actually being commanded right. to be input. Thing to say, if you are getting drift that you didn't have before, check your props. Uh, if you got a chewed up prop or a beat up prop, or even a, if the motor got bent or something like that, it can cause vibration. And most of the time, that's usually actually what makes the, the quad drift more than right. anything. Now, profiles. What? So who has this? Does every wizard yes. have this? Or uh, no, no, not every wizard has it. Uh, but not even the gold and the silver have this. The silver has one profile pre-configured. Okay. The gold has three. Really low rates for someone starting out that they really want to try an, an FPV racing freestyle quad. They want something that's the better, but they feel they can work their way into. And we do realize, I know in every video we suggest, hey, if this is your first brushless quad, don't get the wizard. And we have come to realize it doesn't matter what we say on that. But if you guys are very uh, new to it and you want to try it, I have a, uh, a rate that will go low rate and as low as we can really comfortably go in my opinion. Any any lower than that, it won't even turn and you'll be just like... <laughs> you have a hard fresh. time recovering from it. Yeah, it, it, it's just too low in my opinion. So I try to make it as docile as possible for that reason. Um, and then we got what we ship it default wise, which is the medium rate. And then there's also a third rate that's actually higher rates than that. Um, which I don't recommend you fly on that high rate. Stick with it's the- It's very aggressive. Stick so. with the default one. Now what I do, I fly with, with the default one and then I set the profile for the beginner one too, and I give it to my son when he flies. Yeah. And we have a great time out there because I cannot worry about him flipping it over if I keep it in angle mode. And he he's comfortable with it and uh, we have a good time with those. Yep, so just, it's basically more features again all this can be done without ever having to connect to the computer. That is the whole point of the Gold Tune Wizard was be able to fly your quad. So you're telling me I could take computer. my controller and program this without having this? To a certain extent. Pro programming, you can change the profiles that are already pre-configured in the Wizard. Gotcha. You can't actually go through and do any PID tuning or anything like that through the stick commands. I guess in the world of airplanes, it would be like your high, medium, and low rates with a switch of a button. Essentially, yes, but... Uh, ha! Ha! <laughs> yes, unfortunately, the Fly Sky Radio, if it was 10 channel, we'd be able to do that with a switch. But the fact that we only have a true six channel um, and setting it up, they could be set up in the radio to do lower rates. But to get the resolution and all that, it's best to do it within the flight controller. And that's what the, the settings are for. Gotcha. All right, well, so the first one we're going to do is calibration. So what do you yes. have to do? Yes, okay. Flying and you notice a little bit of drift and all that. And you think, hey, it wasn't doing that before. You might have had a nasty crash or it's been sitting for a while, stuff like that. Sometimes the calibration needs to be redone. Very simple, and this is the stick commands we talked about. Quad on, let's get here, antennas on. First step is first, you yeah. plug in the quad. We would have the quad ready to fly. Is the radio on? The radio's on. Um, actually, should we take the shell off so they can see it? Yeah. Let me take the side plate off real quick, that way you guys can see this. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this open. This is the easy stick command, but yeah, we take the whole thing apart. <laughs> stick this. Uh, took the side plate off so you guys can see it. Yeah, typically you'll be able to see it in front of the back of the quad or something like that. Um, so what are we looking for? I got it, the blue light here. There's then... a red light right here. When you first plug it in, actually, let's go ahead and power cycle it. So when you first plug it in, you'll see the red light there. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yep. and when the quad was armed, when the quad's armed, you get the red light. 
However, everything we're going to be doing here is with the quad disarmed. So you're going to see that red light off. There, and you're tr troubleshooting it, and the quad is... See the light flashing slowly? Oh, uh, yeah. That's because the angle that the gyro detects, it's over the max angle, and you can't arm it. So, so for some reason, you can't arm something like that. Make sure it's on a level surface. Put it on a level surface. First thing to do is to calibrate the gyro and the accelerometer. So we got it nice and level, not moving. We're going to put the stick, the right stick down and the left stick to the bottom left corner for about two seconds, and you'll see it flash, and then let go of the stick. That calibrated the gyro. Now, if we do the right stick down and the left stick to the top left corner, this calibrates the accelerometer. To calibrate the gyro, right stick down, left stick to the bottom left corner. It will flash twice, let go. To calibrate the accelerometer, which is the same as doing it on the computer, right stick down, left stick to the top left corner. And then it'll flash once. Between doing those two things, generally that levels everything out and gets you ready to go again. All right. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is actually changing the PID profiles. Do I have to hook up to the computer to do this? No. This again, this is a stick command also. Uh, you'll see the red LED again. All right. So to do this, the, the left stick, which is your throttle stick and yaw stick, you're going to go bottom left corner on your, on your throttle stick and then to the left on the right stick, that will be profile one, which is your medium default rate. That's what we set them up with, they ship with. The second rate is your super high rate. This is one for guys, if you're finding that the roll rate's not enough and you really mastered the wizard and you wanna go higher, the high rate is bottom left corner on the left stick and then up, which is profile two. And so it you flashed know, twice. Flashes twice. That means profile two. Profile two, that's high rate. All right. And this is the left stick to the bottom left corner and then to the right, and you'll see it flash three times. Did three times. And with it disarmed, you can change those profiles. You cannot do this while it's armed. It has to be disarmed to do this. Um, so it gives you the ability to change between low, medium, and high rates. Uh, so you have various skill levels, and this is set up for those. Profile three is down to the left and to the right. All right, perfect. Profile two and profile one. Uh, the, the rates is the roll and pitch. Um, so flipping and so if rolling. I'm, I'm, I give it to my son. If he's gonna roll it, how, what is he gonna use? How many times will he spend? Like a drill bit or a real? Estate? Well, the high rate's gonna spend, yeah, more like a drill bit. But in to to give you the, the actual numbers of it, um, for the the low rate, the beginner rate, you're only looking about one and a half rotations a second for the either rolling or flipping. Oh, okay. Um, the so actual it's yaw, it's axis. only about one roll a second. One, um, you mean one rotation? One rotation. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, one rotation a second. So the rate is gonna be either the forward flip or, you know. So one the, per second. You know, yeah, or the yaw is about one rotation per second, whereas the roll and the flip is about one and a half. The roll rate is about two and a half rotations a second in both the flip and the roll, um, and one roughly one and a half rotations a second on the actual yaw axis. Um, so it's a little bit quicker, but it's still pretty manageable, and I think most people will be able to do that with a little bit of stick time. Um, the third rotation, that's where it's about three, it can actually flip or roll about three times in one second, which is really fast for someone that that's doesn't have really experience. Fast, that's yeah. yeah, that's a lot. Uh, it gets very touchy in that sense. Um, it does have expo in it, but it's still fairly touchy. And the yaw is about two rotations a second. Um, I think that's more than plenty for anybody, and if you're going past that, you're already digging in the you're, beta yeah, flight you and doing it yourself. You don't need a profile thing. So, All right, which profile is this? Okay. So the profile we're going to do first is what it default ships with. This is the medium profile one, which is the medium. That's the stick to the left. All right. You guys ready? ready? I'm ready. We're all ready. One. Just fly the dang thing. So that's the flip speed. Do a yaw. Do it again. There you go. So yaw. There you go. All right. In profile two, which is super high rate. Who? Okay, I would start. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Well, I'll show you. All right. I don't even fly this one No, I know. Me either. Do the yaw. Do it again. Wow. All right, so that gives you an idea there. All right, so we got profile three. Probably have to go a little higher because your rolls aren't going to be as tight. Yeah. So you see the rotation is really slow in comparison. See that again? Hold it in there. Alright. Yep. Wow, you wasn't make that. So it's very 
docile. The guy's learning. And furthermore, if you leave it in angle mode, it has a limited angle that it can do so it can't flip. It's gonna be in the low rate which is profile three on the gold tune wizard if you're gonna do that you probably want to stick with angle mode because again uh keeps you from flipping accidentally if you over stick it because uh horizon mode if you go in the second mode or acro there's either no leveling or it goes into acro once you pass a certain degree of travel uh rotation so basically if you're gonna run the third profile which is the beginner mode leave it in angle till you get used to it and then you probably maybe move into horizon but i would also go back to profile uh, one um, but that gives you a little explanation of what the pit profiles are that you can pre-select that we have pre-configured on the gold wizards for you uh, as well as for anyone whether you have the base wizard uh, the silver the gold or an arf um, that the gyro calibration and the accelerometer calibration will uh, qualify or be compatible for